Like most people when they were younger, I wanted to be a professional footballer. However, unfortunately, I was told, well, you're too quick. You're too agile. You're too strong. And well, you're just too good. So I thought since I won't be getting that feeling of playing in front of tens of thousands every weekend anytime soon, I might as well try and act like I'm one. Now this challenge isn't going to be trying to improve my skills because well, as you've seen, they don't need improving. But what I am going to do today is get into the minds of professional footballers. Try to replicate the daily routine that they use to put them in perfect condition for the match at the weekend. Because really, only the willing, motivated, determined and skilled minority make it to the top. This is training like a professional footballer for 24 hours. Okay, so I've got a couple of websites up to try and create a routine for my day. I'm going to start with joe.co.uk where they basically sent one of their writers to Fulham's training ground to try and mimic and copy what the professional footballers did in a day, which is basically what I'm doing in this video. He basically just starts off explaining what he did and I think he goes into like a narrative account of Scroll up and uh, do that again. No, it still says 6 a.m. Okay, um, yeah, how do, I, how do I put this? Um, since lockdown, I have been waking up late, okay? Like 10, 11, sometimes even 12, and going to bed late or early in the morning. That will be a challenge in itself. Actually, no, I found a, um, I found a day in the life of uh, Ross and Martin, the Norwich City player, former Norwich City player, and they recorded it on their YouTube channel. And they basically showed, they basically showed that he gets into the training ground at about 8.45 a.m. So I'm gonna try and find a balance because I think the guy on Joe, um, he got up at six, but then actually got to the training ground at about eight. So I'm gonna try and wake up at any time between seven and half seven. Then a lot of professional footballers say they tend to eat something like fruit in the morning. So I'm gonna try and replicate that as well. Maybe like a yogurt as well in there. And then go and set off on a run. Which, now this run won't just be like a 5K, 10K, which would push me anyway. This is gonna be a run that Marcelo Bielsa set his Leeds United players to do in lockdown, which Tyler Roberts, well, will explain in this Q&A that he did. To be the, we did a running session that was, you had to do four minutes twice as quick as you could, three minutes twice, two minutes twice, and one minute twice, but yeah, I was, I was finished for a couple of days after that. I'm basically gonna do 30 seconds. Without further ado, let's do this. It's way too early, coming up half seven, and I've just woken up. Scraped it with two minutes to go. Cheers. Right, breakfast is here. Uh, I've got a glass of orange juice, uh, a yogurt, and then three pieces of fruit to keep me energized for this run. Uh, I'm then gonna have like a snack bar kind of thing when I get back from the run. Just sort of thinking about how much this run is potentially gonna kill me, sort of. <laughs> it, it makes me worry a little bit. I'm also gonna be listening to the Phil Hay Show, which is a Legion United podcast while I um, eat this, uh, purely to get in that football mindset. And also uh, we're playing Stoke today. Cause you know, this is this is kind of like, part of like the physio and like tactical bit that the players do before they go out to training. This is like my tactical bit sort of analyzing how I'm potentially gonna cope if we lose today. Let's see. Unfortunately, the team coach slash team bus got a flat tire. Uh, so I had to make my own way down to the training pitch and I'm bricking it to be honest. I'm about to attempt the Marcelo Bielsa Leeds United lockdown run that uh, they got all the players to do during lockdown as part of their daily exercise. So I'm going to be sprinting for as fast as I can as for about 20 minutes. For, for sprinting is quite a long time, but uh, I'm, not, I'm looking forward to it to get that 
taste of what it's like to work at the intensity at Leeds United. Can I say I've played for Le I can't, I can't say that. All right, without further ado, let's get out. May, he's having fun. First set of four minutes done. That was quite something, I'll tell you that. I don't know, I'm trying to keep that consistency and not like, burn myself up, but I have to just go for it anyway. Tough, very, very tough. Way harder than I thought it would be. I'm trying to sprint it. Like, the first few bits are really good. The second few bits are just... After the first uh, four minutes, I did a 0.9k. And then the second lot, I'm now 1.8k. We move. This ain't cool. I did a couple of 5k's last week. I did them in like 25, like late 25 minutes. And I've hit 2.5k in about 11 minutes. Obviously, like, these minute breaks... The fact that I'm sprinting full out does help. Also, do not eat breakfast and then go out for a run within like half an hour of each other. I think I'm at like 2.7, 2.8k, something like that. But we keep going. I'm at the point now where I think I think best case scenario is that I throw up. That was actually all right. I mean, my breaks aren't always like a minute long. Like the time is better than it actually looks. Maybe I've had two minutes rest sometimes, but otherwise, if not, I probably would have passed out to be honest. Ah, what are we right at this? Look at that. Two minutes left. Not long, not long at all, not long at all. I tried really hard in that two minute one, I started really, really well, but I think that last minute I just sort of collapsed a bit. I absolutely went for that. Those first 30 seconds were the fastest I've gone, and then it just sort of dies off. Absolutely knackered. All done, all done. I would record something now, but I think if I do it, it could include me just collapsing on the floor. Shattered. I was doing like a minute break at like towards the start and then towards the end I was just blowing. That time doesn't like accurately represent how even hard it was even though I still found it challenging. Like the... I, d I don't even know what to, how to explain it. The... Just going full pelt all the time was just so tough. I was still running like I didn't stop between any like the four minutes three minutes like pause or anything like, I did it all the way through so I'm happy with myself with that. Like I think I was like 4.3k I was thinking I was really close to 4.4 I think for like the last 20 seconds or so it was hovering on that 4.3 mark so like, I didn't know whether to try and push it over but that's 20 minutes where it cut off 4.3k. And then it seems in the afternoon after like having like a healthy lunch which I will do it does seem like they tend to work on more like their actual football technique. They, uh, they do all the fitness stuff in the morning. So after that run, I'm going to do like a core ab work. Oh, I'm just not, I'm not going to be good at it. Do not copy what I do because my form will be terrible. So the exercises I'm going to do are the plank and wall sits and for the first set of like eight. And then the second set, I'm going to do uh, sit ups and bicycle crunches. Again, do not copy the way I'm doing it. I'm most likely doing it wrong. 30 seconds going on the timer. This is for the plank. And then I'm going to do it for the, the wall sit. And I'm going to probably like time lapse it or cut it because it's probably not that entertaining to just watch me like, watch me just sort of like, just sit here and like, I don't know, <laughs> sweat. Three, two. It's not a game, it's a red stick. a bit and I've realized like the after effects of that run like it absolutely killed me and like my body just feels like it's aching so much I feel like I'm bending back like I'm stretching like a piece of like I don't know like, like wood or something like it's just gonna snap eventually <laughs> I don't know if I almost pulled something at the end there. Um, that's probably the sign to stop. 
And then after that, and I said after lunch, I'm going to be working on, like, I'm going to be doing a football challenge, which will involve me trying to hit the crossbar three times in a row within 15 minutes. Hitting the crossbar three times in general in 15 minutes is, is quite easy, and I would have obviously um, shortened the time for that. However, to try and do it in the, three times in a row is challenging. Bearing in mind, every time the ball goes over the goal in my garden, I'm gonna have to go get it and get it back, and I won't take that off the time at all. And there is a forfeit if I don't complete this task. The forfeit will be, I have to do that run I did the, in the morning, the next morning. Okay, this 15 minute timer is starting, and it's away. That's one, that's one, that's one, that's one. Okay, right, we're banned down to zero. No. Oh, so close. That's one. Get these two. That's three in a row. That's job done. No. We've got 12 minutes remain, so we should be on course. Missed again. Probably one. Yeah, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one. Okay. Finished though. No. That's it, no. Oh, that's gone. That's it, that's... They both got... No, no. Oh. Now they got... Yeah! Okay, that's one. That's two. It all comes down. No! Oh, it's gone! <laughs> Seven minutes left, so halfway. Such a good goal. Yes. That's one. That's two. This is it. Hit it. I'm a good. If we don't need it, we'll be perfect. Come on! If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe because it did take me a while to try and plan this video. Obviously, it took me like a day to record. Uh, and editing this video has been a little bit of a pain as well but it's a slightly different video to what I usually do but I really did enjoy making it so if you did enjoy please drop a like and a, um, a thumbs up is the same thing and subscribe and I will see you next time